I feel like the moral of that story is you should probably just take a nap. Just take a nap. And you guys, you know, clip this and send it to your employer. Yeah. You, this can be your excuse. Great excuse to take a nap. And oh, I can't come in. I can't go head out right now because of all the lightning. So yeah, you could definitely <laughs> use that excuse. All right. Out there right now, no more lightning. That has now wrapped up for this evening. We still do have a couple uh, light raindrops. You can see that on the camera lens here in downtown Tampa. Things were a lot stormier just a couple hours ago. You probably saw all that lightning and even a water spout out over Tampa Bay. But look at the temperatures right now. We had that rain cooled air that rushed down to the surface. Temperatures are now sitting in the 70s across most of the area. We're going to hold right around here throughout the overnight hours and right into tomorrow morning. Let's switch things over to the weather wall right now. I want to show you how warm it was before these rain showers and storms rolled through. We actually hit 93 degrees today in Tampa. Once again, another day with above average temperatures. The average high is 91, so we were about two degrees warmer than that. Low temperature is also two degrees warmer than the average in the upper 70s, but not even close to that record high of 97 degrees. We're going to have another warm stretch of weather all the way into next week. The 90s are going to stay with us. I think by next weekend, we're going to see more middle 90s in the forecast too. Out there right now, again, you can see a little bit of light green, but that's all dissipating. So again, maybe some light sprinkles, some uh, drizzle out there. But overall, we are going to be on the drier side for most of the overnight hours tonight. Now, here's a couple of those storm reports that we saw, though, around the Tampa Bay area. We did have that uh, water spout and then also some wind reports and some small hail over towards Lakeland. So some of these storms were on the stronger side and they did drop, uh, drop a lot of rainfall in some areas. You can see towards Tampa over four inches of rainfall in spots in St. Petersburg too, picking up several inches of rainfall, leading to some localized flooding out there on the roadways. So it did come down heavy as those storms were not moving very fast for about an hour or so, but thankfully they did move out and finally dissipate throughout this evening for the overnight hours. Again, mostly clear, partly cloudy skies will develop for tomorrow morning. Now notice where the activity is tomorrow off the coast. We're going to get a little bit of a wind shift for tomorrow. What that's going to do is bring a little bit more of an onshore flow. That's going to bring some rain chances already by the morning hours. So notice by the late morning hours, here we are around lunchtime at noon, some rain showers and thunderstorms possible towards the coast. So keep that in mind if you're heading out towards the beach or if you're heading out on the water. We could see rain showers and thunderstorms a little bit earlier than what we saw today. Then more showers and storms pop up inland for the afternoon and evening hours. And then again, like we saw today, those will wind down as the sun sets and we lose that daytime heating. So rain chance is still pretty high for tomorrow, around 70%. They are going to drop off, though, a little bit more towards the middle of next week, a little bit more of that pop-up variety showers and storms. So for the weekend, we're going to wrap things up again a little bit on the wetter side with more afternoon showers and storms. Let's talk tropics, and there's not a lot to talk about. No tropical development expected for the next five days. This has been a nice change of pace. We've been very quiet the last several days. It looks like it's going to stay that way for most of next week, too. And really, towards the end of July, things look to stay pretty quiet. So for tonight, partly cloudy skies. Isolated chance for a sprinkle, light rain shower, temperatures dropping into the 70s. A pretty nice night heading our way overall compared to some of the overnight low temperatures we've seen the last couple of days. Tomorrow, we're heading right back up into the upper 80s and lower 90s. And again, that chance for scattered showers and storms, but we will watch that chance for a morning rain shower or thunderstorm. Again, if you are heading out towards the water, keep in mind those storms are going to pop up. Winds are going to be out of the southeast, about 10 to 15 knots, seas around 2 feet. A little bit of a moderate chop out there on the bays and intercoastal areas. So, not a rough day on those seas, but right around average for this time of year. All right, seven day forecast temperatures in the 90s throughout the next several days. Notice a little bit of that warming trend, though. By next Saturday, we're approaching the middle 90s. Rain chances do drop off a little bit more for the beginning and the middle of the upcoming work week.